Hey guys, this is Ian, and I'm going to answer a couple questions that I saw around the web uh, this week. I got an email, one's from an email that I got, and another one from a uh, Reddit forum. Both of them rang some bells. The first question, Baron VW says, how do you effectively utilize your local language speaking co-teacher? What are realistic expectations for this position? First thing I thought, that this is in Korea. Um, you know, they say, like they say in Korea, like your, your, your co-teacher, your partner teacher makes or breaks your experience. And it broke mine. I taught in uh, Korea with, uh, in a public school with a co-teacher as well as in Hogwans. And um, I don't know, it's like, it's kind of the luck of the draw, like who you get with your, for, you know, for a co-teacher and some people have problems with them, you know. So I'm not, I wasn't surprised to see this. Uh, basically ruined my experience like the person who I worked with I couldn't, couldn't stand her so uh, I understand what you're going through like that's that's a tough one to be in because you know I think usually it could be slightly different from like a regular you, you're teaching in like a public school the after school I know what those were, I was actually trying to get one of those jobs those are usually pretty good like you only work like afternoons like 12 to 5 or something sometimes or, some teachers even less. Those are pretty good jobs. But, um, yeah, that, that's tough. So I don't know, like, what your level of um, who's in charge, you know? Like, officially, who's usually in charge is the Korean teacher, and the foreign teacher is, like, an assistant to that person. And it sounds like you're kind of having some... I don't know if that's the same for you, but it kind of sounds like that's what's going on. She's real bossy and whatnot. So, uh, one thing here, it says, uh, she doesn't write on the board and the kids just yell words at her that they need translated. Translate I would tell her to not do that, to say, when you're teaching, you're teaching, it's your time to teach, you're going to teach them how to speak, you don't need a translator. It's effective. You don't. You don't need a translator to teach. You know? So, I would tell her that. Like, if she wants to teach her way, when she teaches, go ahead. But when you teach your classes, I'd tell her not to do that. So otherwise, I mean, you've got like a couple decisions, basically what you can do with your situation. Um, three things. Like, this is kind of looking at it a simplistic kind of way. You can either accept the situation that you have right now and try to change it, or you can basically quit. You can remove yourself from the situation. So, uh, if you try to change it, I mentioned in the, my Reddit comment, like, you can, I don't know, you has got to be someone else a little bit higher up than her that probably speaks some English there. I would imagine, I mean, it was like that kind of the school where I worked. I would try to talk to them. That's what I would do. And then just, just be honest and straightforward and, you know, that's, that's what I would try to do. Um, do that first, you know. And, uh, I mean, that's like a way of kind of trying to change the situation, make it better. Um, the other thing, just accept it. Just like, uh, I got a crappy co-teacher. My life's going to be, <laughs> you know, I mean, if you accept it, I don't know. Maybe it could just be like, okay, this is just temporary. I've got, I don't know how long you have left in your contract or whatever. Or you can quit, you know. And I know the thing <clears throat> that you mentioned in your email, like, if you quit, then, you know, like, it's tough to get a job again sometimes maybe if they don't give you a letter of release so yeah that's tough and so I don't know that's 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 what I have to say about that um, she sounds like a like an evil person and uh, sounds like an unhealthy environment so I would try to change it go to someone we can talk to um, try to take care of yourself point out you can point out some stuff do some research about like some of the things that some of her teaching you're gonna point out wrong like say that she's wrong but you can just like point out information and that maybe you know show her the uh, maybe try not to be combative about it but uh, point out you know what's uh, the correct way to do things so I don't know if that helps I hope it does Michael says, I'd like to teach English in Argentina or Brazil. 
and I was wondering if this certificate is recognized in these countries. I get these questions sometimes about teaching abroad and TEFL certification and will your, your course be accepted abroad? Okay, first off, a TEFL certificate, it's not like a, a passport or visa. It's, uh, it's a qualification. It's a way to improve your qualifications. But normally, to get a visa, you need to be a native speaker and to have a college degree. Now, that can depend on the countries. Uh, I'm not familiar really with Argentina or Brazil yet. Very familiar with Asia, as I've taught in three countries there. We just kind of followed it for a while. And um, just ge in general, around the world, most places want a native speaker and they often want a, a degree. And then after that, it comes down to the school. So it's not usually, a TEFL certificate isn't usually required by the government. Though it could depend, <clears throat> depending on the situation, um, but it's usually a preference made by schools. So if the schools, schools, um, they could prefer it that you have it. So just to clarify that, now if you ask this question to another TEFL provider, I bet they would say yes emphatic yes yet um, it's not the whole truth because there's no certificate that's gonna be accepted by every school or it's a guarantee even if you have a CELTA certificate right CELTA certificate is like the most prestigious TEFL certificate so even if you have that it doesn't guarantee you a job anywhere you know it's just like getting a job in your home in your own country right you apply to a job, you know, they're gonna they're gonna look at your whole you know you, maybe you need some basic qualifications to get that job, but they're gonna look at all of um, you know, it's not just because you have this. I mean even if you have a degree from uh, Yale and I don't even know what Yale is. What's what's it famous for? The studies or whatever. But it doesn't guarantee just because you have that degree it doesn't guarantee your job anywhere just um, you know, so a temple certificate basically improves your excuse me uh, improves your qualifications yet yeah, it's not like uh, I'm just trying to clarify this because some people ask this question because they don't know they, they assume that oh well, is this your, your certificate accepted in this country or that country this is very broad um, it's much more um, it basically comes down to the school you know, and different schools have different requirements. So, I hope that helps.